All right, guys, so we're out just doing a little uh, one night camp. I'm kind of stoked this week um, heading out because I have my niece, <laughs> Rachel, with me on her very first backpacking overnight trip and her very first trip uh, with me, her Uncle Jason. And uh, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping for a little better weather, but we've got some clouds and it's kind of kind of sprinkling on us right now. But uh, she keeps telling me we're going to handle it. So. <laughs> So we're good to go. So anyways, just kind of come along with us and uh, we're going to pack into a lake and she's pretty excited about hammock camping for the first time. Alrighty. Alright, so uh, we haven't done much filming tonight. I mean, it's, it's rained on us the whole time we've been out here and it's just been about uh, trying to get a camp set up, which... I'll try to show you guys in the morning because it's dark now, obviously, as you can see, and uh, and it's going to be too hard to show it to you, but uh, we managed to get a fire going. I brought an extra tarp in. We've got, the, we've got you know, a tarp over each one of our hammocks set up over yonder, and again, like I said, I'll show that in the morning, but I went ahead and picked up just a cheapo um, Walmart tarp on the way, uh, way over to pick up my niece, and I'm glad I did because it gives us a... A spot to where we can kind of hang out and uh, have a fire and being that it's a cheap Walmart tarp I'm not worried about sparks getting on it and burning a hole in it or anything like that. So Anyhow, we're getting ready to have some dinner. I've got some water boiling We're getting ready to boil on the fire for her so she can have what are you gonna have tonight? Macaroni and cheese. So she has macaroni and cheese and I am going to have something Oh, yeah backpackers pantry Jamaican style jerk rice with chicken. That sounds pretty good. So anyways, we're just gonna hang out by the fire. It was, uh, I should have tried to film a little bit putting the fire together because it was a real challenge. Everything up here is just sopping wet. We, it's been raining for, I don't know, what has it been raining for like three or four days straight yeah, yeah. here? And plus we're on top of the up in the mountains on top where I'm sure that there was snow not too long ago. So everything is just fairly saturated. So it uh, definitely took uh, what all of what skill in fire making that I have to get that fire to go. But uh, we did get it to go and we're enjoying it now. But anyhow, we're going to eat and we'll just kind of bring it back on if uh, something interesting happens. If not, I'll probably just kind of bring you on uh, in the morning and show you kind of how we set up the camp. And, and uh, come maybe hopefully it won't be raining tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be better weather. So... Um, Hopefully we can show you a little bit in the morning. All right, morning. So uh, we're just kind of getting things going this morning. Just getting our fire kind of started and uh, get ready to have some breakfast. You know, it wasn't too bad of a night. It really didn't get that cold, but it did rain all night long. So. I think we both, you slept pretty good in your hammock last oh, night. Yeah. So that was good. And uh, it's not raining on us right now, but it's pretty f foggy and misty. So I, I imagine it could rain on us again any time. But we're going to basically have some breakfast and kind of start getting packed up. And uh, we'll start making the hike out. And hopefully it will, won't be raining the whole time that we're hiking out like it was when we were hiking in last night. And I'll get some get some shots of the area and stuff because it's a we're on a, a loop trail and I'm not exactly sure how long it is but uh, there's three small lakes along it and then one big lake at the end so uh, see if I can kind of show you guys that but it just all depends on what the weather's doing when we're hiking out of here all right guys so here's our setup from last night the first tarp here is a Bushcraft USA, and this is actually Casey from Coyote Works' uh, tarp that he let me borrow, and uh, that was awfully cool of him to let me do that. It's a 10 by 10, I think. Um, not completely sure on that, but uh, it's a good sized tarp either way. It was a nice to have last night. Gave uh, my niece a lot of room and space. And then she had an Eno hammock uh, that she used, but we've she's already got that uh, packed away. And then over on my side here, I was using a Chinook Technical Outdoor uh, 12 by 9.6 tarp. 
and that's a good sized tarp I just got it actually this week and it gave me a lot of space to have with my um, with my hammock especially with the raining uh, this is a pretty new tarp and I don't have all the specs on it and I plan on doing a review on it later and I will point out a couple real uh, quick things on it that uh, I I like and dislike about it already um, first thing is is the corner tie out uh, I, I do like it I you know it's reinforced I like how they sewed it it's really good but and then there's a um, top, top tie out which is nice but the thing that I don't like about it is is it uses grommets and I'll show that to you here a little better and um, and then on top of that there's not really a lot of tie outs on it uh, there's actually um, only the corner tie outs uh, and then there's two along the long side and then there's only the ridge tie out um, on the short side so not a lot of tie outs uh, I may I may change that you know I, you know obviously I can sew so I, I definitely see it that it's a tarp that you'd want to add more tie outs to now the one nice thing about it is um, this tarp is only like 50 bucks or something like that I, I have to uh, I'll put down in the description um, how much it is I it's um, it's a fairly inexpensive tarp but uh, it's one that's um, it's inexpensive for a reason I think you know but anyhow um, just kind of show the setup you know below you can see my my um, hammock you know uh, it's a um, war bonnet blackbird and then of course my uh, sleeping bag is a MSS it's the in intermediate bag and then I also use the BVN there and inside that I use the um, I was using my climate um, sleeping mat so all right well so one thing I was going to show you guys is um, last night I, I whip together this little fire block um, pretty quickly and one of the things is is with the extra tarps and stuff like that I ran out of paracord with you know getting all the tarps up and stuff and I didn't have any type of uh, cordage left over to uh, build this fire block to kind of help um, with the smoke and also kind of help reflect some heat back at us so what I did is I took two sticks and I pounded them into the ground at an angle and um, and then just stacked these sticks, uh, stacked all these logs up against it. So um, there's just a kind of a quick no cordage way of making a little fire reflector that um, worked pretty well. And um, so, anyways, I thought I'd show you that real quick. Alright guys, so we're packed up and we're heading on our way out and uh, just thought I'd kind of show you around real quick here. Where we're at is um, where the Shadow Lake Fire was uh, a couple years ago, I think in 2012 the Shadow Lake Fire was. So it was a big fire and a lot of devastation, but it's already greened up a lot in here and stuff is starting to grow back and stuff, but um, yeah, a lot of, lot of dead wood around here. Alrighty, so we're out. We back to the Toyota and getting ready to go. All our gears packed away. So sorry I wasn't able to video more that um, or show more. There was a lot of nice scenery and stuff, but it's been raining on us on and off the whole way. But anyways, it was Rachel's first backpacking trip. <laughs> it rained on us the whole time. <laughs> so what did you fun. think of that? It was good. It was fun. It was a good experience. I have to say she was a total trooper. She never complained, never seemed upset or anything like that, and always just seemed happy and upbeat about the situation. And uh, so it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun with her. And and uh, are you gonna do it again with me sometime? Oh, yeah. Better. We'll find a better weather day. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So until the next video, we'll see you later. <laughs>